Dan has already indicated uh, to you that uh, we have uh, serious business, serious issues in our region, in our county. Uh, many of you know that, and I can think of no more significant an issue to focus uh, discussion on today uh, than around the moral and social crisis that our homeless epidemic poses. And I did say moral as well as social. And I know that uh, no one in this room is a stranger uh, to this issue. Uh, we see homeless uh, persons on our streets, under off ramps, and in our parks, uh, on train stations, some 47,000 homeless men, women, and children across the length and breadth of this vast county. And I believe that we are obliged, morally compelled, to address this issue, do better than we have done step outside of the incrementalist or minimalist approach that we have assumed to date and address homelessness in a very significant way. The momentum in this region is unprecedented. Look at both the city and the county uh, of Los Angeles. We have a thoughtful and comprehensive strategy on how to address homelessness. These plans, these strategies are in fact uh, complementary. I wish to say from a political perspective, it could be argued that the city has done its part with the successful passage of HHH, and I know that uh, many of you in this room were a part of that effort. You ought to just take a moment right now and give yourselves a pat on the back or a hand clap for the And this will help do what we need to do in terms of affordable housing, uh, permanent supportive housing that is critically needed. I call them bricks and sticks. But you need more than bricks and sticks to deal with the homeless crisis in our region. Uh, may I simply uh, hurry on to say the following? We need services. <coughs> services and more services. Mental health services. Substance use treatment services. Psychiatric urgent care centers. Recuperative care centers. We need rapid rehousing. We need rent subsidies and more. And so, we are on a mission to do our part in the county of Los Angeles by stepping forward uh, with uh, the next part of the puzzle uh, to make sure that services are made real in this county. Uh, and stay tuned because we expect on next Tuesday uh, that the board uh, will finally act uh, in a progressive way put something of consequence on the March 17th ballot and get on with helping restore the dignity, purpose, and worth of every single person who calls himself or herself homeless by putting in play as much as $355 million to do the work of services and lift people out of impover impoverishment. I think that's worth your support and we appeal to you. We're not likely to see the same voters that we saw in November, so we don't have to work very hard. Um, it's imperative, I want to say, that we come together to get this done uh, in order to get to the finish line. This is a smaller voter turnout model. It's a more conservative turnout model. But the good news is that our data suggests that we can get it done. And we must get it done. Uh, and 
so your guidance, your advocacy, your enthusiasm, your work is going to make a difference. I want to say that I appreciate uh, the work of the Economic Roundtable and its leadership on this issue. And I trust that, and I know that the panel that is uh, about to come forth will provide even greater clarity and depth of insight as to this issue. Uh, not just simply on the question of whether we should move forward, but how urgent it is that we move forward. Uh, the homeless uh, expansion rate uh, is startling. It has gotten our attention as policy makers, as decision makers, as advocates, as analysts, as academics, as those who are compassionate and forward-looking. We know that we have a job to do, but we simply invite you to join us as we seek to do that job. Thank you very much, and enjoy the balance of the day.